Hi everyone, it's Lolly. Today I have a project share about making, well, I guess I'll call it paper charms. Um, I've been on my mind lately thinking about chunky charms and paper, and I just really like doing little dangly things, and I really like playing with Mod Podge. This is the matte finish. I do have glossy, but I've been using the matte. But Mod Podge on paper turns it sort of a, almost a vinyl appearance and texture, so it gives it strength. And that way, when I punch holes through it, I don't have to worry about it um, tearing apart so much, and, and I won't have to put grommets in everything. Um, so I here's what I did. I had paper laced, and I Mod Podge both sides that I would do one side, and I would lay it on wax paper to dry, and then flip it over, Mod Podge it, and dry it again. I put a grommet in this one because it's fairly delicate, and I'm thinking I put it in the wrong place because there's a lot of holes around there. I think it's going to tear out anyway, so in the future I think I'll have to reinforce that. Um, this is just a piece of paper scrap with a, a gold glittery embossing on it. This is the rubber stamp that I did on white paper. And then I wanted some ribbon, and so it's kind of hard to put punch holes in ribbon. I have folded paper over on a ribbon to punch through it. At least it gets the hole in. It's not pretty, but it does uh, punch it. But I didn't have a ribbon wide enough for this project. At least I didn't. I wanted a wider ribbon. So this one, I just did a um, um, rubber stamp of a star image. And again, the paper is Mod Podge. The ribbons are glued in. And then I did, I have this, um, it's a coupon rubber stamp, really like it, but my ink pad, which disappeared, um, it's over here. I've been using this one, this Memories Archival ink pad, but no matter how long I let it dry, uh, the markers were running, making the ink run on the ink pad, so I really didn't care for that. I'm going to have to use my stays on ink and try that next time and see if that is more... Um, color fast and doesn't bleed when I try to use markers on it, but I'm using the coupon anyway. And then this is a Fuse project. I have a little plastic page protector. I rubber stamped an image inside of it, put in some sequins and a little sticker that says Living, and I did do a grommet on this hole as well because, you know, if you don't seal that hole on the fuse, obviously your little uh, confettis are going to fall out of there. So then all I need to do is just take the ball and chain. This is about necklace length because I was making necklaces out of these for a while. Let's see, I'll do this and then I'll put that lace on there. I'm curious to see how long this lace will hold up with that grommet in there. Okay, sorry, get off camera there. And into the hearts, I think I'll do the little yellow star. And I think I'll go with this first. And then the ticket. Okay, so put that all together, string those on there. It feels really durable, and like I said, I, I like the way that the Mod Podge is making these feel like they're vinyl pieces instead of paper. So just figure out how long you want that chain. Uh, let's see, actually I should pull it through so I can use the head on that. I would say right about there. Use my pliers to cut that off. And voila. So what I'm thinking, um, these are all about one and a half inch wide pieces, if it gives you an idea of the dimensions on that. And I think the longest piece is about four to four and a quarter inches long. So you can adjust these. You can make mini ones and use them for pocket letters, either this size or the smaller size, whatever size you're wanting to. But I think it would be interesting to do um, a collection that matches whatever your pocket letter is about or something about you. Like each one can have something to do about your life that you're sharing with the person you're trading with. And it could also work on some planners, too, on the side of your planner. Anyway, very cute. You could also do this technique if you have memorabilia, like real tickets from an event that you went to, and you want to preserve them and showcase them, to go ahead and Mod Podge them and put a hole in them and hang them like this. Very fun, and I'm thinking even a little tassel would be adorable right there. So I hope you enjoyed that project. Very quick one. Uh, message, uh, excuse me, comment on any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.